Dear fifth graders, we started to topic shadow. Because of internet issues, I tried many times. Let's start one more time. And last lesson, we mentioned about types of materials. You, you learned that opaque materials, which don't let light through in, and translucent materials and transparent materials. And which type of material make shadows? As you know, opaque materials make shadows. Let's start. Shadows can grow bigger or smaller. It means shadows size can, uh, can be bigger or smaller according to daytime. We will see on a picture. Or the size of shadow can change according to position. A shadow is affected by the position of an object. As you see, the, uh, these children in different position and shape of shadow change. Okay, we will do an observation with you. In this observation, we will take an object and we will put this object to different places. This object, if we put this object 10 centimeters in front of the light source and later change it to 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters and 50 centimeters and uh, after that we will measure the length of its shadow of course it will change uh, but what will happen let's explain it on a picture and you will do this observation as experiment at home please Try to do this experiment in your garden. It will be better. Okay, let's explain on this picture. This is a light source. You will use a light source. It can be different things, you know. And then, if you put this object near to light source, its shadow will be bigger. It means if object is near to light source its shadow will be bigger but if this object far away from the light source its shadow will be smaller this is the rule when you try you will see you will notice this one it means what will you do you will take an object Firstly, your object will be 10 cm distant from the light source and you will measure the shadow. Later, 20, later 30 and 40, 50. It means you will try 5 times. Each time 10 cm far away from the light source. And each time you will try to measure the shadow and you will see that when will the shadow will be more bigger when the object is near the light source it means at the end you will see that if this object uh, near it means 10 centimeter will be bigger than the others did you understand here? If the object near to the light source, as you see, shadow will be bigger. If the object far away from the light source, distant from the light source, its shadow will be smaller. It means 10 cm far away will have, uh, as you see, biggest shadow. And 50 centimeters far away will be smallest shadow. Okay, let's continue. Uh, 
Now we will answer the questions from your book 129. First question. Circle the type of material that must be used to make a shadow. Here, look here. Let's uh, draw. I'll draw for you. Let's remember the meanings. Transparent. Transparent materials, you can see the other side. Let light through in, like the windows. Opaque. Don't let light through in or light cannot pass through in, we can say. And translucent, translucent colorful, uh, colorful glass uh, is an example to translucent. Light can pass through it a little bit. You cannot see directly. You can see, you cannot see clearly, but you can see a little bit by translucent materials. And now, which one make more shadow or a shadow? We said that opaque materials make a shadow. Let's draw it opaque will be the true answer. And why does the shadow of an object get bigger? If, if object is moved closer to the light. We said that, we said that in this slide, if object near, let's draw, we will understand better if we draw, if object near near uh, to yes let's choose the color if the object near to the light source there as you see shadow will be bigger if far away or distant as you see here far away here near it okay uh, what will happen if it is far away as you see shadow will be smaller yes okay turn back if it is near it why it is shadow will be bigger this is the question and if we answer if an object closer to the light source it will block a larger area if it block the larger area increase it is shadow size you can test it if an object near if an object closer it will block larger area and shadow size will increase test please it at home okay after it next one during the day the shadow size will change why it will change let's see let's see okay in the morning in the morning as you see in this picture as you see here i'll show okay in the morning the sun is the lower on the horizon and is not very powerful and which one is the shadow here as a line you can see this one in the morning okay and at midday here is the midday you know at midday the sun is much higher in the sky as you see this is the midday and sun is much higher in the sky and more powerful this makes the light brighter and hotter as you know for example 12 o'clock and what will happen let's see the shadow of this object as you see the shadow of this object 12 p.m. it's mean noon as you see size smaller in the morning size larger but at 12 p.m. noon it is smaller and let's see 
after midday after midday as you see the sun gets lower towards the horizon and less powerful and cooler from the midday and as you see as you see uh, the shadow of it this one again larger in the morning this shadow it is larger and as you see 6 a.m the shadow of this one it is larger but noon it means 12 p.m as you see shadow of this object will be smaller and we can say during the day the shadow size and shadow positions will change according to sunlight okay you can see it here clearly in the morning where is the sun sun located here because of them the shadow in this part in this position but at noon noon you know 12 what's happening what's happening uh, up it and this is the shadow different position what about the afternoon afternoon in horizon as you see sets and as you see this is the shadow of this tree change the position we can say different hours in the day different position of shadow and also different length of shadow okay please do an observation about it what will you do you will measure during the morning it means you will measure your shadow but you will do it in the morning you will do it at midday 12 o'clock and afternoon and measure and say me please in the next lesson it is a homework for you uh, normally if you are here we will do it together let's answer the sun is the only natural source of light yes you know uh, sun is the natural source it is true my shadow didn't change at all throughout the day. Is it true? Is it possible? No, of course, it is false because shadow will change according to hours, uh, it means according to sunlight in the day. And you know, at midday, it, at midday, a shadow size smaller but in the morning and afternoon larger and my shadow was at its longest at midday is it true is it true let's see of course it is not true because as you see noon up and shadow of this object as you see here smaller but in the morning as you see shadow of this object larger or afternoon shadow of this object larger we can say noon is the smaller shadow because of them this question will be false shadow was at it is smallest or shortest at midday Okay, these are the exercises on your book 133. And if the weather is sunny, you can see a shadow. But if the weather is cloudy, you cannot see any shadow. And shadow length and shadow position change throughout the day. You know it. Okay. We mentioned about shadow in this lesson. I hope you understood. If you didn't understand, you can ask me your questions from chat. Okay, next lesson we will continue to this topic. See you next lesson. Goodbye.